Today I wanted to... Damn, we getting a little deep, guys. Episode yeah. 10, you know, show a little emotion. Yeah. I wanted to talk about parent relationships. Who chile? I want to talk about, <sighs> like... Alright. I grew up with my mother and my father. Mm-hmm. My mother and father divorced when I was like 16 or 17. Mm-hmm. That's when my pops split off or whatever, went about his business. Still know you, love you pops, love you moms. But I don't have, maybe because I was young, I don't have too many like memories of my parents being lovey-dovey. Mm-hmm. And like at times I hear people talk and they be like, I'm like this because of my father. I'm like this because my mm-hmm. mother said so. Thank you, Emily. And you feel me? And I'm mm-hmm. sitting here like, nah, I'm the opposite. Mm-hmm. Yo, oh God, I'm the opposite. I'm like, I'm cold hearted, which is weird, but I'm very loving. Yeah. Very emotional, especially if you're my lady. I'm very emotional. Yeah, passionate. And I feel like I never, I don't I don't know where I got it from. Because mm-hmm. like a lot of people say they parents, they parents. I, I think I pride myself on being the opposite. Mm-hmm. At least relationship wise. Because my mom and pops is dope in their own right. Mm-hmm. They like, But together, no, they didn't work. Right. And the crazy part is, I think I, what I learned from my parents, honestly, from their lack of affection is the conversations I have with them. They both still love each other, but my mother loves my father enough to know that she can't be with him. Which is strong. It you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like that's some powerful shit to learn. For sure. But I never, I don't think me personally, I, I learned anything on how to like be in a relationship or keep a relationship from my parents. Hmm. Nothing at all. Cause it sounds like even through the bad, you were you still learn things. Cause um, that's still a teachable I moment. I guess you could say I learned if you you love somebody enough to walk away. You should walk and away. And my father mm-hmm. did talk to me about marriage, mm-hmm. so that I can say that even I was like for him coming a two time divorcee mm-hmm. and still telling me that I should get married. I think that was powerful. That's a big thing. So mm-hmm. I take that from that as well. But like their relationship, I probably. Learn to be nicer to my lady. Come on, I like I have memories of my pops not being the nicest person. Mm-hmm. So I learned that, and I don't think that worked because it ended in divorce. And I mm. I wasn't the nicest person either growing up to nobody. To nobody. So mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. I had to break the the curse. The curse. But you know, I'm long winded, and you always try to get me to therapy today. Today's the day. Today's the day that Jade gets the therapy. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I you shared... Away. You was waiting for this moment? I was sharing a little bit just to, you know, give the floor to you to let you know, like, uh. people say they're broken because of their parents and they past. It can change. You can get better. That's why I shared a little bit of my... Like, you know me. I'm, I'm a... Ser- I, I, I said this all the time. I love my mother. But mm-hmm. I think I'm a, I was a serial data because I was looking for the love that I felt like I didn't, didn't get, get from my mother. Mm-hmm. Not saying my mother didn't love me. It's just the type of love I felt Correct. like I needed. Mm-hmm. I wasn't getting it. wasn't getting it. Yeah. So, I used to just... Serial data is good. Yeah, I was serial data. You yeah. were. Yeah, I was serial data. Yeah. yeah okay. On. Yeah. But no, no, let's not get off of... <laughs> so speaking of parent relationship. Um, I think this is a, a good one. I think, you know, I also grew up with both of my parents. I think they're still married now, but I definitely think that it's not a relationship that I aspire to or I aspire to have. I think, like, my parents, I could probably count on my hands. How many times I've seen, like, my parents, like, be physically, like, you know what I mean? Like, affectionate. But I think, like, that impacted me a lot. Like, Mm -hmm. when I dated, like, I'm not a physical, even Mm -hmm. now, like, I'm not, like, overly affectionate and things of that nature. Like, like, maybe I have to be, like, in a mood or, like, in a moment or whatever. But, like, that's, I know you talk about it like a love, like, it's not. And I think something, <laughs> it's not, physical touches, <laughs> it's, not. it's not in my top two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not. Um, but I will say, like, I think my parents showed love to, like, myself and I think all of our siblings through acts of service. And I say that a lot. Oh, yeah, and that's yeah. why, even now, like, any of those surveys, they want to be like, oh, do you love it? It never fails that acts of service is always my number one. Like, I appreciate that the most. And I think, like, coming from, like, a household where I never cooked. And at my big age now, 
Still I go. still don't. <laughs> shout out CT. Always got to shout the dudes you know about. Shout out CT, bro. <laughs> I never had to cook. I was never forced to cook in the kitchen. Like, it's like little things you got to whip. You get what I'm saying? Or like... Eggs and bacon don't count. I, I think it. it does. Okay. I think so. Okay. I could throw down a little salmon. Okay. Sometimes it's dry. Sometimes it's juicy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It depends. Maybe a little steak. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, steak is steak because steak. I'm still a little dry. Sometimes you might get a little juicy. You know what I'm saying? It really depends. It depends. Then golf for air fryer. You understand what I'm saying? I would have made it. Shout out air fryers, you heard? I would have made it. I would have made it. Sometimes the air fryer before me busts, busts, busts. Like, come on now. I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, I think like just certain things like that. I think. I don't know. I think this is also part of a relationship. Financial stability was always very, very important to me. Like, my dad and I both were really, really good with money, still really are. Uh, taught me a lot. I don't see myself ever being when somebody is not financially stable. When I say financially stable, I don't mean rich. Yeah, That's no, not no, what I mean. Yeah. Even though my big father is rich. He's going to kill me if I say that. Hey, Stig! Yo, listen, I, I, I just want to part out. You heard? Just what? Just your boy, you heard? My son is at school be like, so... A do 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 Oh! <laughs> You know, I'm like, you know, I don't know. Right? Say, it's like, yeah, reference TV man, like I do. You heard TV? I got two jobs. You get what I'm saying? I don't just boom, need boom, boom, this. I'll be in the what? black if you are. Come I'm on now. Rokies? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, but yeah, no, I think there's definitely, definitely pockets of what I learned from my parents. But, again, they're not somebody that I'm just like, oh, yeah. You like, my parents have been, yeah, they been married, damn it. They're some, and I'm just like. What? And I also generally think, like, over time, it got really complacent, which I will say is, like, my biggest fear. It was my biggest fear in a, in a relationship. It's my biggest fear in math. Like, getting bored. Mm, getting get bored? bored? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like, that might be worse than if I get cheated on. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very, very scared. I'm very, very scared about it. Uh, but, yeah, no, that's, like, really big to me. Like, I really want to make sure, like, there's always something to look forward to with my partner. Yeah. And it goes both ways. Yeah. So like fun is important. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fun is very you important. get what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's why we're able to do simple things for our birthdays because we enjoy mm -hmm, each other's company. Like mm -hmm. we enjoy each other's company. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think parents like definitely have a big impact on on like what you look for in a partner. Yes, it could be like yes. from what you feel like you were missing, mm -hmm. something that you feel like okay, I remember that and like I still want that. I think there is definitely gaps, but I think people that have successful parent. But it's weird because I feel like sometimes people that have successful, they oh, see a successful weirdos. relationship, are, they weirdos. still can't, can't get it. Cause they, no, they don't cause get it. That's a, they, they that's, a topic, yeah. that's a different topic I want to have. I don't want to get too diving. That's a topic I want to have because some people, just like everything else, they only look at the finished product. Not a lot Ooh, of us go. Not the road to get Not there. all of us get mm -hmm. the grunt work. Like, I'm at the age. Like, mm -hmm. I'm having, I have a little bit more conversations with my father and mother. But I'm, I still, yeah. is, I'm still having jumped to like, yo. How y'all met? Da, da, da. How That's real. Was, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I just do math on the kids. And yeah. I'm like, oh, this is messy. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. With your brother, all day, your sister, your sister, you're getting your brother. He's like, yeah, whatever. But you know, little math, the mad be mad, you heard? So I was yes. like, yeah. But yeah, so we're going to get it. I want to get into like the origin story we have a new, but not today. No. Mm -hmm. Right now, I want to know, we're going to stick to the script, but I want to know like, how involved are your parents in you? Because you're married. Mm hmm. So, and your parents are married. So I don't know if you go to them for advice like we see on TV. Like, wow, wow, wow what to do? CT's mad. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to Cherry. I'm not going to Papa. No, thank you. Not interested. I'm not. I'm not. And they're like very close with Christopher. Yeah, I know. They're like very like, they I love him. I think I see your mommy the other day when I was driving too. Oh, yeah. Mine. I think she mommy the other day. Mm -hmm. They're like obsessed with him. They like call him before they be calling me sometimes about certain things. So... They have their own relationship, which I love and I appreciate. But if it came down to like really getting a bind or something, no, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Call, I'm too. not calling them. Yeah, I don't. You calling who? Who? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, like I can't call my mother because if I, if I am going through shit and I tell my mother got better, so uh -huh. mommy before you hit, don't kill me. Yeah. My mother got better at holding it down, but before if I told my mother something, by the time I, I hang up the phone, with everybody in my family. See, yeah, and I don't need that. That's real too. Like, like God forbid, me and my is gonna do something in the crib. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I'm calling anybody. We're going to try to fix it. If mm-hmm. we can't fix it, y'all just going to see me broke up or something. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all not going to yeah. get that. I'm not going to give that satisfaction. That satisfaction. Like yep. That or whatever. Yeah. So, <clears throat> now, if CT was beating you, right? Could you imagine? Well, mama. My mom's going to jail. Okay. Yeah, she's going to jail. Okay. She's... Okay. She's going to jail. Okay. She's going to the big house. And so she don't even mind it. with Kiki Palmer mom. She, okay. She's going okay. to the big house. If okay. I was to call her like, yo, my Christmas, what? She is going down. You hear what I'm saying? And she's going to be like, yo, you ain't got to build me out. Because you build me out, like, he's dead type of thing. Like, that's one thing I will say. My mom, not for nothing, she's a rider. Like, she's she's with the shit. all the shits. <laughs> she's going to always be with the shits, like, always. So, that's never something I would doubt. Like, if I really needed her, she's always going to be there. Because she is always there. So, I would never take that away from her. But when it comes to, like, really honest, authentic, like, asking for advice, I also, like, have very weird memories from past relationships that I just felt like she would be taking the do size. And I'm like, what's going on here? She wanted to get you married. Yeah, I'm but like, what's no, going my on mother, here? My mother takes, my mother, same thing. My mother calls you money. My That's, mother thingy money. My yeah. mother... Is that like you trying to just build a rapport or is like you dead know. ass like agree with them? Like what? I'm confused. I remember one time my mother pissed me off. She compared me to my father when she was talking to Diet. I was Ooh, so pissed. Oh, yeah. Bro. I was so yeah, yeah, pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's real. You know Drake that that one button you yes. push it? Yo, shout out Drake. That was- <laughs> <laughs> you, you, she compared me to my dad that one button you push it? Yeah. yeah my mother did that shit to me too. Drake, uh, I, Drake I feel you, bro. 